Today we have a very special segment for all of you. We'll be sharing with you the insights of the collaboration of bringing the world of Pandora to life. This project, similar to all of our projects, collaboration is key. But working with the team from Lightstorm has been amazing. I mean, it starts with truly, you got James Cameron, who's this groundbreaking filmmaker, an incredible storyteller, who believes in the same thing that we do. Creativity, technology, innovation, all that's in the core of what they do. My first thought when I heard we're bringing Avatar to Disney's Animal Kingdom was, that's a game changer. It's really gonna redefine the experience that we give our guests here. One of the really exciting things for Jim Cameron and myself was the idea that we were gonna build our land at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Because the same idea that we try to do in our films, which is to relate everything to Earth and to challenge people to open their eyes and to understand that their actions have an implication and, and, and an effect on people around them and the world around them. That's what Disney's Animal Kingdom does. It's a really remarkable collaboration between Walt Disney Imagineering on one side and Lightstorm Entertainment on the other. There's a lot of crossover in knowledge base and skill, but there's a lot of exceptional skills on both sides. When we put this team together, we've been able to create a kind of super team with extraordinary abilities to approach the job of getting Pandora done. I think if I had been with any other partner, there would have been a real worry. There's a, there's a fundamental, I think, belief that Disney are going to do it right. And so to have them as partners, and I know Jim felt the same way, was to have, a, have our world realized in this, in this manner. It just it gives you a great confidence. To not have to put a camera between you and the world and be able to walk into it, that, that to me is the ultimate in reality. You know, I think Avatar is synonymous with the use of technology to tell stories. Disney's Imagineers have embraced that in building the land. And they are bringing new technologies to bear to create new experiences for guests that are going to be more immersive and really more amazing than ever before. For example, the pre-visualization technology for the big ride is, is strongly influenced by Lightstorm's pre-visualization technologies. So we go to their giant soundstage and we're using their technology where we actually hold these little banshees, like little 10-year-old kids playing with toys, and we're flying them around, basically doing the flight path that the guests are gonna go to. And they're recording it on, I don't know, what kind of like giant motion capture system, but it's pretty incredible. One of the goals of Avatar was to have them experience the bioluminescence of Pandora and the land is basically going to come up to life. Basically as the sun goes down you'll start to see bioluminescent in the forest and on the mountains and it's going to be like I've been in Animal Kingdom Avatar in the morning and the day but I've got to go back at night because it's a completely different experience. So we're setting our land in the future and we're inviting people to come there thanks to Alpha Centauri expeditions. This is all part of our storytelling. Every place the guests will interact will be a story to it. Nothing will be without a purpose. And as we say in films, films can be a great metaphor for the world in which we live. Thanks to the storytelling that Disney's putting in to Pandora here, the land itself will be a metaphor for the world in which we live.